currently when we monitor patients on the wards, they have, most of them will have intermittent um, observations. So they'll have uh, one to four hourly heart rates and respiratory rates and, and saturation levels. And what we're worried about is that patients actually can deteriorate in between those observations. So what we'd like to do is to have um, monitoring of patients um, more continuously. The Life Touch sensor and the um, patient status engine, they help us to do that. The idea of having sort of wireless uh, monitoring end to end is the way forward. Um, it's, it's the obvious way to scale safer care so that you have uh, lots of cheap um, reusable sensors and very few expensive monitors. That is obviously, and that's, that's, that those economics will, will hold true in any environment. And, um, but this gives us the opportunity for us to offer it to more children um, so that we can, we can catch those moments when they are deteriorating and intervene. We don't want any avoidable um, uh, cardiac arrest or death um, in hospitalized patients. Fortunately, those events are fairly rare but we need to extend our monitoring in order to capture those, those rare events. So yes, it could be the difference between life and death. There's no problems with loads of wires hanging out. So it's more comfortable and nicer for parents to actually pick up their child. I mean, having the, the live touch on him will be obviously less wires. It'll be easier to, to manoeuvre him as well. And, uh, to be a parent, to, to pick him up and put him down and just, just to play with him. So it'll be a, it's a cracking idea.